Welcome to another Safish Ass podcast and this time around it's a little bit different because this time around we will discuss a topic that came up I think on together yola.com a few weeks ago and that is the question is the Sony Xperia X and Safish Ass for it abandoned by Yola already just after I think it was one year now that we have the Safish X program and the software available for the Sony Xperia X device uh, to basically give a short answer no it isn't abandoned because you can see that the current version I'm running here is version 301 of Safish S which basically means it's the newest version and you will also get the newest version, although marked, labeled uh, as beta, on the Sony Xperia XA2 device, as you can see here, also version 3.0.1.14. So what, what is the big deal now? Why are people asking if this device is abandoned or not? The short answer to it is very very uh, clearly it's the Android support people are worrying about so for the Sony Xperia XA2 there is been a beta out now for I think a couple of weeks which give uh, the user the ability to run Android applications that were written for Android up to version 8 so it has Alien Dalvik 8 point something, 8.1 I think, as um, Android compatibility layer for running Android applications. On the Sony Xperia X, we still have the Alien Dalvik Android runtime version 4.4.4. So you are able to run all the applications uh, Android supports up to version 4.4.4 if not any play services stuff is involved of course because this is a general issue on both devices if you want to have play store even though um, if you compare them directly you'll see that the sony xperia x has a slight advantage that there are existing guides for how to get play services running here and as this is still beta on the xa2 the alien dalvik system um, there are no guides available or if there are guides available it's very very crashy at the moment and not very usable so is it abandoned now that's the big question i would say no because as you can see we have still the newest version 301 and i'm using this sony xperia x8 uh, not the xa2 the sony xperia x device with savage as running as my main device as my daily driver almost every day I'm using this and I'm expecting of course all the great service as free updates landing on this device and I'm pretty sure 99.9999% that we will get and we will see uh, version 3.0.2, version 3.0.3, 3.1.3.2 or whatever or how they will be called. We will see the upgrade for the browser even if it's a small update only for the browser we will see Qt 5.9 which will be a huge update also bringing in hopefully a new browser engine and the ability for me as a developer to update WebCat, upgrade WebCat in a way that will work with the new Qt web engine to have a modern browser Allah, please make it happen <laughs> we want a modern browser for your platform um, so this will be supported and I think you won't have to pay anything in the future for its support just like with the Yola 1 and the Yola C which are now a lot older than the Xperia X device and are still supported just like the Yola 1, the Yola phone, the original Yola phone still still uh, in support and still also running version 3.0 uh, even after more than five years now. So this is I think the first message for all of you people out there asking if this device is abandoned by Yola. No, it's not, technically. But certain things are stuck 
just like the Alien Dalvik version will not be and will not see an upgrade in the near future to something like on the Xperia XA2, just like Alien Dalvik 8. It's technically with this base not possible and I'm also 99.9% .9 sure that Yola won't put the money, won't put the effort and the time in it to upgrade the base for the Sony Xperia XA2 just to have a uh, greater Alien Dalvik uh, engine. Um, what could be possible and is possible from the technical side of thing is if you take a look at the Android Hull and Android Runtime versions here you will see that the Android Hull version says it's running Android Hull 6 uh, so it is possible in theory um, as you can see here Alien Dalvik is version 4.4.4 to upgrade this Alien Dalvik at least to the Android Hull uh, version um, which is 6 maybe even 7 but this depends but 6 should be possible and it's a lot better I think for some applications that require 5 or higher um, will it bring in support, better support for banking applications just like promised here? I'm not so sure. We still have to take a look here if this will work out. This is still beta here. It might work out, it might not work out, it all depends. Banking applications nowadays also might depend on Google Play services. Might be in the future as well, even more applications depending on it. So we have to take a look and see what the future will bring. We cannot, uh, I don't have a um, glass ball here to look how the future will look like. Um, what I can tell you is that there is a very, very small chance that after, and please, Yola, after this is coming out of beta, so not only Save Jazz but also Alien Dalvik is running stable and fine at least as good as uh, on the Xperia X, uh, that we will then see some development in uh, bringing up the Android version runtime um, up to a level just like for example 6, uh, so to match the hull uh, that is running underneath Save Jazz to communicate between the drivers and or use the, uh, the Android drivers basically to communicate with the hardware. So this is something that could happen but I'm not seeing this in the near future. This means maybe after summer, maybe when... this all depends on, on how much Yola will take to make this usable because it's actually currently not usable as a daily driver, it's a beta version uh, it has problems with the proximity sensor, with the battery, at least on version 3.0.1 and um, on uh, the Alien Dalvik crashes sometimes I heard and uh, also has problems with uh, mobile networks. Uh, mobile network stuff should be fixed in version 3.0.2 I think I heard something there already and uh, hopefully other fixes will land as well, the proximity and battery life being I think major blockers still for the, at least for me, to try it out as, a, out as a daily driver. If those are fixed, I can try it out as a daily driver. We'll, of course, also do a video about it uh, if it's useful and usable as a daily driver then. But until this, it will take some time, I think, for Alien Dalvi to mature to a stage where I will say it's an improvement to the version that we have here. But to get on the same level, I would say it will take two or three versions still. Um, or big updates either to Safish S or just Alien Dalvik package or maybe both so depending on how fast Yola could work maybe in May so if they really figure stuff out very quickly and will have Alien Dalvik in a very good state where one can say this is a final version now um, in May maybe then I think there is a slight, slight hope that someone at Yola uh, will be able to work on upgrading Alien Dalvik on here. The question is, how? Because this is another problem that I see right now, that the whole infrastructure on how Savage S and Alien Dalvik works on Savage S on the Xperia XA2 is on a completely different level than on the Xperia X. So this is basically the old version of Alien Dalvik working in a completely different manner than here. And this 
means that for upgrading from the version 4.4 to version 6 a lot, need, a lot needs to change here and I think Yola will not spend the time and money and effort in upgrading Alien Dalvik here in a way that it's possible to upgrade via just a normal Surface OS update but it needs a refresh. This is the technical limitation I would say it's the easiest possible uh, thing to do just putting the tag from here onto this somehow bringing out a new image allowing people to flash this image this could mean that maybe and but this is just speculation on my side now that Yola will maybe have another round of uh, buy a new Selfish X license for your Xperia X device if you want the new Alien Dalvik if you want the new um, infrastructure stuff from here but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure because it's an old device. The Sony Xperia X is an old device. We have to admit it. It is an old device. Even the XA2 is still an old device. One year, over one year old right now. And this is in smartphone years an old device already also. And this is even older. So it's hard to decide. So it's a very slight chance that we will see an upgrade of Alien Dalvik on the Xperia X, I have to really say. Because the only chance I see is, is really if Yola is able to finish Alien Dalvik for the XA2 in, in the beginning of May, maybe. Or in May, let's say in May. Uh, but if they aren't able to make this a daily driver also usable with Alien Dalvik in, 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 in a nice way until May. Uh, I don't see it feasible for Yola to try to upgrade the Xperia X uh, Alien Dalvik version to a higher version um, because it costs time and people to work on it and this time and people to work on it Yola could spend uh, in searching for either upgrading this making this the perfect flagship device of course or uh, changing for a successor uh, searching for a su successor first for the Sony Xperia XA2 there are the new brand new X10 devices with this crazy 21 by 9 aspect ratio not sure if this is the right way to go. Maybe also taking a look at um, the flagship Sony Xperia 1 device, but this has a triple camera, so this would mean Yola has to implement real camera software. Really by real camera software, I mean not camera software that is 15 years old or that feels like uh, Stone Age. So this camera software on, on here or on here, it doesn't matter. With, with one camera lens system and, and, and um, the, the, the way that the software works, the camera software works is very primitive. I would say it's on a state from camera software we used five or six years ago. So there's yeah, something Yola needs still to get uh, getting done and needs to upgrade and invest time in and work on. Also some basics uh, when it comes to Selfish as just like I said, browser engine and then browser I think are way more important than getting an Alien Dalvik upgrade on the Xperia X but this is just my opinion you can see I'm just running here um, no Android application at all and this is usually the way I run my device I use my device there's occasionally some uh, applications um, Android applications that I use just like for example uh, sometimes because of the browser situation being so bad uh, currently on Selfish S bad in the sense that the browser engine is old and not all websites work the way I want it to work and uh, feel a bit of sluggish or could crash the browser. I'm uh, using as an alternative I always have an Android browser available for me so I can just click on F-Droid uh, Fennec which is basically F-Droid more open source version of the Firefox browser um, built on F-Droid. Um, Android is a platform for downloading Android applications, mostly free software. Uh, and the rest of the applications that I have are basically 
native applications. So I'm not the big Android user on SafeJS, Android Apple user on SafeJS, but I can understand that some certain people need certain apps and then to run, just like, for example, a banking app, which would be nice uh, for it to run. Um, certain other stuff, just like health apps, uh, fitness uh, tracking apps or something like this would be nice to have. Won't run here right now, but you have of course, native applications for fitness tracking. I think there's the amazing application Amazfish for the Amazfit BIP, for example, which is, a, by the way, also a nice fitness tracker. Not that I'm doing now an advertisement for them, but there is, there are native solutions as well. And I would like to see a push more into the give more native applications a chance. Of course, this also means Yala needs to update their licensing and their not licensing their restrictions on the harbor on the on the Yola store a bit because let's take a look at the Yola store it it feels abandoned to me so if one would go out of this video and talk about abandoning stuff I think the Xperia X the Xavier S on Xperia X is not abandoned what's a bit of a bandit, I would say, is <laughs> the Yola store because nothing really changed in there. Um, the applications in there, there are occasionally new applications in there, not so many, um, and it's a bit dying out, um, which is sad to see. It has a lot to do with the restrictions also in the Yola store, and I think and I hope that Yola will come up with a new. Uh, set of rules because you need rules if you want to have uh, take a look at the future and queued upgrades and so on and stable up APIs and so on you need rules for your store and for the applications to work on all um, the software stuff um, I hope Yola will come up with a new set of rules or a new idea on how to bring new life into the Yola store but this is a completely other topic Let's stay at the uh, topic, is this device abandoned? It's not abandoned, it's still working. I'm still using it as my main uh, device, as my main device, my daily driver. So I don't think this will become abandoned, even not at the end of the year. You, you've you seen the track record with the Yola phone, more than five years of support already, still getting updates, will get updates. Um, I think this device will also get updates and as long as it stays this quick and fast and, and, and usable and as long as the browser is not that crappy uh, will not will be updated and we will have a new cute version uh, which will bring speed improvements also for here uh, we will see of course then improvements for the Xperia X device what I can say in regards to the Xperia X um, and Safe S here is that we won't see any new improvements in hardware support on the Xperia X device. So the fingerprint reader will not be uh, getting any uh, improvements in terms of that you can just, uh, because this is, an, as you can see here, this is an, uh, not only, let me try to make this in focus, it's they, uh, come on, focus on this button. It's not focusing on this button, but you can see this is a fingerprint reader and a power button. So it would be nice if you can just press with your finger on it and it would read to the fingerprint, just like on the Android version of this, and it will automatically unlock. This doesn't work actually currently, and I'm not, I'm not seeing this um, ever being fixed. The same goes for the camera quality. There will be improvements and overall there will be also I think a new camera app, an advanced camera application um, in the future, in the near future. But I'm not seeing as the drivers for the uh, camera are a bit crappy, we have to say, especially when it comes to focusing and, and autofocus errors. I'm not seeing a major improvement in, in the camera quality, uh, in call quality. Uh, in video quality, maybe with a new G streamer update, they can fix the problems with the uh, asynchronous uh, audio and video. But I'm not seeing any uh, big improvements in in terms of video uh, performance here, audio performance, um, 
battery life. Um, there might be an NFC client coming. There's, I think, the daemon is still is already available, uh, and, and the only thing that's missing is a is a is a client. Uh, and funnily, uh, very funny is that the Xperia X device has uh, here in front the NFC tag. So if you want to scan something, you have to uh, put it on the front, uh, in front of the display, basically, which is a bit strange. But um, nevertheless, so in terms of, of uh, big uh, hardware improvements, driver improvements, we won't see anything, I think, on the Sony Xperia X device as uh, the base uh, with kernel 310 something or 318 I think it is uh, is too old and and um, the only thing where we can we could see a camera improvement a Bluetooth improvement and a battery life improvement maybe would be if uh, Yola would decide upgrading this to the latest kernel 4.4 I think which is available and the new Android Hull this would mean we need to reflash our devices because I think it's not possible otherwise to do this um, but I'm not seeing this. I'm really not seeing this because it's just putting time in it. If Yola would have the time, if it would have the resources, they would, I think, gladly put it in here um, for their customers. But uh, I'm not seeing this. Uh, they have problems already dealing with this, then the Gemini PDA and the other devices they have to port stuff to. So I'm not seeing this being, uh, seeing any major upgrades anymore. So this will only get the software updates. Software updates are great. Anyway, so it's not abandoned because the software updates will bring a lot and lot of improvements. Just like I said, there will be improvement in, in the browser, in the default native SafeShares browser. Um, slight improvement now with the upgrade of, of XoRunner, so the, the, the Gecko engine, the Firefox engine uh, that runs the SafeShares browser to version 45 instead of uh, the crappy old 38 version. Uh, will be slight uh, improvement, but still noticeable, I would say, in most situations, in loading times, and in, in, in terms of memory usage, and in terms of uh, websites being supported, uh, HTML5 support and so on, um, and also encryption and, and encryption support and so on. So we'll see this uh, as a slight improvement. Then the big improvement will happen with Qt 5.9. Um, hopefully immediately with Qt 5.9 landing on the Selfish OS platform and not that we have to wait until dawn to see, so until autumn or something to see then uh, also Qt Web Engine landing uh, because otherwise uh, this would be disappointing for some people of course. You have to wait a little bit longer for getting a proper web browser here. Um, we will see updates addition, uh, addition, uh, additionally UI updates, new features coming just like for example, I think it's not a big secret to tell you this, uh, battery management uh, stuff coming so that allows you to set a threshold uh, to when their, uh, the device should go into a power safe mode so you can have a little bit of longer battery life, especially in those situations where you are out about and your battery is dropping to below 20% and you need to, uh, you can't charge your phone, so you have the option to just quickly toggle a power safe mode which will stop all syncing of, of, of your calendar or emails uh, in the background, uh, uh, which will help with battery life. So. Uh, is this abandoned? Now, the last time I'm asking this question. I'm thinking no. It's not abandoned, it will be used and it will be used for me yeah, as a daily driver still for I think this month. We'll see how uh, the Xperia XA2 will develop. I will keep you updated on this but this will be my main device still for this year. I think for not, like, not maybe not the whole year but uh, yeah most of this year the first half of this year definitely the first quarter maybe of this year hopefully so uh, yeah if you have qu questions comments uh, how do you see the whole situation with the Sony Xperia X what do you want from jo from Yola what do you want from your Xperia X device what is missing what's still the big problem if still bug you can comment this uh, in the comments as well as uh, writing uh, me an email if you like to. I'd like to see 
also emails. I got a few of them. Uh, otherwise, just uh, like and subscribe, and until the next time, bye.